thing, Officer Clutch. <laughs> Baker man, how are ya? Golly gee, I'm super duper busy. Tomorrow's the big day. You're really converting El Coge's only bank into a cafe? Yes, indeedy, Speedy. The Piston Cafe, a specialty boutique for premium motor oils. Oh, cars don't need that fancy goo. Just give me a generic 10W40. <laughs> we'll stock that as well. Whoops. Here, Walter, let me help you. Back off, it's mine. Walter, you gotta stop picking up every battered hubcap and tattered fan belt you find by the side of the road. Why? Rescuing abandoned car parts is not illegal. True, but your garage looks like a junkyard, which is illegal and unsafe. Oh! You become a compulsive hoarder, Walter. If you don't tidy up, I'll have to ticket you. Is that why you called me? Is this another intervention? No, we're closing the bank. What? We're moving online. Online? Where's that? The internet. Web banking is the future. Anyway, we're cleaning out the vault, so I need to return your safe deposit box. I've got a safety deposit box? Yes, siree. Well, I can't take it now. That's fine. Pick it up whenever you want. The vault's not going anywhere. Thanks. Hey, watch where you're going, Mayor Rivet. <laughs> Walter, just the car I was looking for. Listen, next week at El Coche's 100th anniversary celebration, would you talk about the old days? The old days? You mean like a hundred years ago? <laughs> exactly. I'm not a hundred years old. You're not? No, and I'm not from El Coche. Really? No, I just moved here from New Gasket a few years ago. Uh, those cold winters were tough on my fan belts. Sheesh. Turn off that racket! So, Norbert, what do you think? Very nice. Thanks, I designed it myself. Oh, it's not too much, is it? <laughs> Hood ornaments are supposed to be over the top. Just look at your sisters. <laughs> Seriously. <sighs> I'm getting it. My sister may not like it, but so what? Bye, Norbert. Bye, Bumper. Evening, Speedy. Hi, Norbert. Fill her up, please. How's married life? Oh, it's fine. Hmm, you don't sound like a happy newlywed. No, no, Zipper's wonderful. It's just that sometimes it's hard living with someone. <laughs> True that, but it beats living alone. Hmm, Zipper can be so annoying. Sometimes I feel like I'm about to blow a gasket. <sighs> Want some advice? Sure. When Zipper does something you don't like, stop. Take a deep breath, smile, and ask, why? Why are you doing that? What if I don't like his explanation? Say, I understand what you're thinking. If you're still upset, count backwards from five. Five, four, three, two, one. That works? Try it. It's important to keep you cool. Mmm. Thanks, Norbert. <laughs> Sparky! Sparky, turn off that noise! <gasps> Uh-oh. Gracie! I didn't mean to. You broke the security camera! I... I barely bumped it. Sorry. No, it's okay. I can probably fix it. <sighs> so where have you been, Sparky? Nowhere. Nowhere. What were you doing nowhere? 
driving a few practice laps. Oh, Sparky. I'm going to be a professional racer. The chances of you making it in the racing world are one in a million. I'm fast, and I want to race. It was what I was born to do. Oh, every car goes through that phase. But you've got to set your childhood dreams aside and start thinking about what you want to do with your life. What does that mean? You need to start making concrete plans, setting realistic goals. Like what? Like, I'm planning a tailgate party to celebrate El Coche Centennial. You could help. <sighs> That's so lame. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Diesel! What are you doing out of prison? I wasn't in prison. I just spent a few nights in the inbound lot. Oh, that joint is cramped. Mm. Just a few nights? But you were convicted of fraud, embezzlement, impersonating a police officer. Don't forget perjury. Thankfully, Judge Jack let me off with community service. He and I go way back. What kind of community service? Uh, don't know yet. I get to decide. Oh. I'll probably do something for charity. Helping needy cars or something. <laughs> Whatever. Sparky, you look a little down. My dad says I'll never be a professional racer. Why not? You're lightning fast. I know. Why can't my dad see that? He still treats you like a kid. He does. But I'll show him. Oh, I gotta get out of El Coche. Every car wants to race, eh? Thank you, Sparky. You've given me an idea. Huh? Hi, Zipper. <laughs> Welcome home, honey. All the lights are on. Huh? Smile and ask why. Why are you doing that? Honey, why are all the lights on? I don't know. We're saving up to buy a garage, remember? We're not college kids on a road trip. We don't want to spend our lives sleeping in a parking lot, right? Uh, yeah, totally. So, let's save money by turning off the lights, okay? Sure, if I remember. If you're still upset, count backwards from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Everything okay? Oh, yeah. Good morning, motor vehicles. What are you so cheery about? I've got big news. I've figured out how to fulfill my community service requirement. Huh. What scam have you... Shh. Listen. The Rush Carbo Show! Folks, Diesel has just announced that she's organizing a drag race for charity in El Coche. El Coche! Who'd want to drive there? Hey! Pretty exciting, huh? What's the catch? There's no catch. I'll raise money to stage a drag race and donate the proceeds to needy cars. After deducting expenses, of course. I want to race! Oh, Sparky! Wonderful! The entry fee is 50 bucks. That much? When is it? Stay tuned. I'm holding a press conference in a few days. Sparky! I don't want you racing! <sighs> oh! 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 So pay no gain, mi amigo. There you go. So? <laughs> you look wicked, Bumper. <laughs> oh, it's not too much, is it? Nah, your new hood gear is totally right. <laughs> oh, I do love jewels. Don't tell my sister. Thanks. Hi, Otto. <laughs> hey! Oh. Sorry, little dude. Guess I had too much chassis lube at lunch. It's okay. So, how can I do you? I need to adjust my spoiler to go faster. Oh, no. Your spoiler's fine. You're a sports car stoked to the max. Really? Totally. 
What you need is practice, and maybe some premium oil, like antioxidants and stuff. Hmm. Check out the fancy motor juice at Banker Man's new place, the, uh, the, uh... The Piston Cafe? Yeah, that's it. Thanks, I will. Hi, Otto. Sparky. Hi. What's up, Lug Knight? <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry I can't fix that radiator leak. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You can't find AIDS, right? <laughs> Besides, I want to save my money for sparkly, sparkly. <laughs> <clears throat> See ya. Otto, I need a little more work. Lug nut. I need you to perk up my bumpers and add a few flashy rocks. You've already had four body jobs this year, dude. What can I say? I like bling. Otto, word on the street is my sister Bumper wants a hood ornament. Something tall and flashy that she designed that would top my hood gear. If I need to get more audacious, I will. I am and I will remain the fiercest Carnell coach. Otto, I don't want competition, especially from my sister. No one outshines Lugnut. Got it? Whoa, Mel, no, I did. Oh, this drip stain is totally permanent. Bummer. Howdy, Sparky. How may I help you? I need a motor oil to help me race faster. No problemo. I've got just the thing. Uh, how about this? A Select. Hmm. It reduces friction while dramatically improving engine performance. Sounds good. I need three cans. Wonderful. That's 38 bucks. 38 bucks? Plus tax. <clears throat> Being a racer isn't cheap. Nope. Uh, I'll think about it. Okie dokie. Good afternoon. Howdy, what's up? Up? Nothing's up. I'm Struts, and I'm doing well. Not that you asked. Have I arrived in El Coche? Uh-huh. I'll take that as a yes. Good. The sign suggests you offer for purchase the finest motor oils. Yep. Wonderful. Please uncork a can of your finest Huile de Bordeaux. L'huile de Bordeaux. It's a rich, full-bodied French oil with winsome viscosity and a hint of complexity. You do carry imported motor oils, don't you? Uh, nope. Why am I not surprised? You're not from around here, are you? No, no. I'm from Carlandia. Wow. So why are you in El Cote? I'm planning a holiday here for an acquaintance. Oh, you should check out the tailpipe trading post and, and the flywheel drive-in. And next week, our 100th anniversary celebration begins. Ah, what splendid suggestions. May I ask your name? Sparky. Sparky. You seem quite knowledgeable and enthusiastic. One moment, I have to look something up on the internet. The name's Sparky, right? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Are you searching the web for information about me? Hmm? <laughs> Perfect. Sparky, at the moment, are you employed? No. Why? Would you like to earn a little extra money? Would I ever? Oh! That almost hit me! It's mine, sonny boy! Back off! Don't get any ideas! Why would I want your rusty rubbish? Rubbish? This stuff is valuable! J -j just keep your distance! Really? Such a brutish jalopy. Banker man, I'm here for my safe deposit box. Sure. Now let's see. Gosh, it's been a while since I opened the vault. The combination is, um, left three. No, right three. No, no, let me try it again. 
Right, two? Hey, what's the hold up? One moment. Open the vault. I'm trying. Trying? You can't get my valuables? Just give me a moment. Help! Police! The bank stole my box! Gee willikers, Walter, hold your horses. Oh, heavens to Betsy. What's going on? Uh, Bankerman stole my valuables! Really? No! Shh! Allow me to concentrate. Right, one. Left, two. Right, three. That's it! Phew! You couldn't remember right, one, left, two, right, three? Sheesh! Jiminy, you made me nervous. Wait here. Say, you look familiar. Hmm? No, I'm not from around here. <laughs> that vault gives me the creeps. I never want to go in there again. <laughs> Vintage bolts! I forgot about these! Vintage bolts? My dear sir, they are practically dust! Back off! Don't get any ideas! I've got my eye on you! What are the white things? Packing pellets for protection! Hello? Cats! Where are you? Ma'am! <laughs> I'm in El Coche. One moment, excuse me. I don't want to go to El Coche. I don't want to go anywhere. <sighs> Walter, let's throw this box away. No! That's crazy talk. Well, at least throw the pellets away. Every single one of these 15 pellets plays a crucial role in protecting the bolts. You forgot you had a security box, but you remember how many pellets are in it? Of course. Three for each bolt, 15 in total. Hmm. Mark my words, these antique bolts are going to be worth a lot of money someday. Good night, Walter. Sleep well. Yeah, I never sleep well. It's too quiet in El Coche. Sorry about the false alarm, Officer Clutch. No worries. Are you sure we haven't met? Hmm? Clutch, I need you now. On my way, Mayor Rivet. Got a nice folks. So, Sparky, you want three cans of A Select? Oh, no. I'm not sure I can even afford to enter Diesel's drag race. Banker man, here's 50 bucks for the three cans. And, Sparky, here's another 50 for the race. What? Consider it an advance on your first paycheck. I'm hiring you to help me plan my trip. <gasps> Great! What do I have to do? Oh, just this and that. Sounds good. Marvelous. Thanks. See you at 9 a.m. tomorrow. I look forward to working together. What a team we'll make. Sorry, Daddy. It's okay, honey. The security camera's not broken. It's just pointed in the wrong direction. It's supposed to record what's happening near Norbert, not the back lot where I sleep. <laughs> no one wants to watch hours and hours of Daddy snoring. <laughs> Crazy! Sorry. Sparky! Turn that noise off! Oh! Let's start making preparations for the Gas and Go tailgate party! Sparky, I need you to put up the decorations. Decorations? Balloons, streamers, maybe a piñata. Uh, well, I can't help. What do you mean? You promised. Did not. Did too. I don't have time. Why? I have a job. Doing what? Working for Struts. Struts? He's from Carlandia. Carlandia? Oh, I can't stand those cars. I'm from Carlandia. I have a queen. I'm better than you. Ha ha ha. What a bunch of pretentious posers. That's funny. <laughs> mm. I say, your cruel quips maligning our fair Carlandia are most uncharitable. Who are you? Dad, 
This is Strats, my new boss. Greetings. Oh, Mr. Carlandia. When are you going to toss that spoiled queen out on her rear bumper? Dad! Excuse me? Let her start earning her own gas money. You would have us throw Her Majesty out onto the public thoroughfares? And what would you have us do with her priceless royal art collection? Her sumptuous palaces? Hmm? Convert the queen's palaces into public parking garages and let whoever wants her art take it. My... Aren't you a revolutionary? See you tomorrow! Dad, why are you so down on Cardlandia? Well, one summer, your grandpa sent me to camp there. It was horrible. This one group of young coops teased me because I wasn't from a big city. Of course, none of them amounted to anything. What does that have to do with my job? Well, I... You told me to set realistic goals, make concrete plans. That's what I'm doing. Hmm. Dad, I'm not helping you with your tailgate party because I'm working for Struts. End of story. Ugh. And I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow is Diesel's press conference. <laughs> Young Coupe, you must learn to enter a parking space slowly and to park precisely between the white lines. <laughs> a civilized society requires... <laughs> oh! You! You hit me! Whoa, chill, bro. No dent, no foul. You crashed into my bumper! I didn't crash. I bumped. It's cool, dude. That's why it's called a bumper. <laughs> Such outrageous, insolent... <laughs> Oh, I'm going to be sick. Sister, what's on your hood? My new hood ornament. Like it? I designed it myself. Ah. Good morning. First, a big thank you to Banker Man and the Piston Cafe for sponsoring my charity drag race. So, when is the race? Oh, I don't know. I was thinking, like, in two days? <gasps> That's not much time. Um, my bro's doing this thing in two days. How about tomorrow? What? Okay, we'll run the race tomorrow. Wait a minute. What's the race course? Oh, I don't know. I thought we could start around here and end up somewhere. We'll see. Right on. Makes sense. <laughs> if I may. Properly planning a race requires time. Tomorrow is simply too soon. One needs at least... That's enough of your snooty Carlandia attitude. Yeah, go with the El Coche flow. Yo, Diesel, we don't need a car wash, do we? <laughs> of course not. The race is totally casual. Righteous. No, no, no. Why do you care? Because... <sighs> Because I am not merely Struts. Huh? No. I am Sir Struts. Lord Chamberlain to Her Majesty, Queen Limousine of Carlandia, Empress of Clutch Pedal, Sovereign of... So? So? Her Majesty is a keen supporter of charity, and she has decided to grace El Coche with her royal presence for the drag race. I am here to make preparations. That is, if you can decide when and where to run the darn thing. The Queen's coming to my drag race? Yes. What's a Lord Chamberlain? It's like the Queen's maid, right? E excuse me? Seriously, Queen Limo's coming here? Yes. Oh. Hey, why is there a golf ball attached to your antenna? It's not a golf ball. It's a royal orb bestowed upon me by Her Majesty in commemoration of her diamond jubilee. Huh. It would make a good golf ball. Toots, yellow balls don't get lost. Just listen. The Rush Carbo Show. Breaking news, folks. The Queen of Carlandia is planning to attend Diesel's charity drag race in El Coche. El Coche. Not sure why Her Royal Highness wants to drive there, but this could be the race of the decade. The race of the century.
Okay, so let's hold the race in four days. Thank you. This is so exciting. We finally get to see someone who knows how to accessorize. Seriously. So the queen's coming. Hmm. I wonder. There must be a way to get rich off a royal drive-by. But how? Where is Zipper? He was supposed to be home an hour ago. Oh, <gasps> Zipper! <sighs> Evening, honey. Zipper, where have you been? I lost track of time. What? Smile and ask, why? Why are you doing that? Honey, why didn't you remember that I planned a romantic dinner tonight to celebrate the anniversary of the day we met? Oh, sorry. I brought you something. Hmm? Wiper fluid. It's scented. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Come man. <laughs> Matey? Where are the Queen Limo bumper stickers? I need a Carlandia hubcap cover. Sorry, ladies. We're all sold out. Aww. Try again tomorrow. Aww. Oh, Banker Man, what is all this junk? Carlandia swag. It's selling like hotcakes. I thought the Piston Cafe only sold fancy motor oils. New policy. If cars want to buy something, we sell it. El Coche's got a serious case of royal fever. We'd be better off if the Queen ran out of gas on I-40. I say, how discourteous. Mm. Now, Banker Man, have you ever had a burglary? No. Why? Just wondering. Can I go yet? Absolutely not. So my job is to follow you around? For the time being, yes. <sighs> <laughs> now I recognize you. Hmm? Strutterly struts. <gasps> Clutchety clutch. Of course. <laughs> it's so good to see you again. Indeed it is. How long's it been? <laughs> At least ten years. How do you guys know each other? We were in security training together for a few weeks in New Gasket. Of course, we both had a lot fewer miles on us back then. Oh, the high jinks we got ourselves into. Uh... <laughs> Remember that time you let the air out of that mean green van's tires? <laughs> How could I ever forget? <laughs> now look at you, Lord Chamberlain. You've really moved up in the world. Well... You're living the dream. Oh, not really. For a time, I was Carlandia's chief inspector. What a stupendous job that was. But then this cheeky motorcycle named Pinion had the audacity to... Uh, well, it didn't work out. Anyway, lots of things to do. Toodaloo, clutchity clutch. <laughs> Toodaloo, strutterly struts. <laughs> Come along, Sparky. <sighs> I always like good old struts. Afternoon, Chief. Afternoon. I still can't believe Diesel's gonna upstage my tailgate party with her sham drag race. <clears throat> Maybe you could invite Queen Limo to the tailgate. I don't want that queen anywhere near this station. Huh? Norbert? What are you holding? Hmm? Norbert, show me your right hose. <coughs> Not your left hose, your right hose. A Carlandia bumper sticker? Even you, Norbert? El Coche's never had a royal visit before. Turn that racket off! How's your job with struts? Terrible. Oh? He's got me working 24-7. I have, like, no time. I can't even practice for Diesel's drag race. Good. It's not good. I want to race. You took the job. You can't quit now. I know. But I will become a racer, and no one's going to stop me. <sighs> Come again soon. I will. Really, it's perfect. 
I'm afraid we're closed. Already? Wonderful. Huh? After careful consideration, I decided that Her Majesty will park here. What? There's no one here at night. Splendid. The Queen prefers peace and quiet. But, but what if something happens? Sparky and I will be standing guard. What could go wrong? Evening, Banker Man. Diesel? I need your approval on this Drag Race publicity poster. Approved. So, the Travel Castle shall park here. Here? Oh, no, 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 no. Queen Limo is staying at my four-star depot. Excuse me? But, Diesel, that place has been condemned. It hasn't been condemned. It's been foreclosed on. That's why it's so quiet. Her Majesty must stay here. I insist. No. No? Struts, it's Diesel's drag race. If she wants the Queen to stay at the four-star depot, that's where she's staying. <sighs> Fine. Great. It's settled, then. Hmm. Now, the Royal Travel Castle will arrive early tomorrow morning. We must be ready. Oh, it's all coming together perfectly. I don't know about that. Struts! Struts! Yes, yes, I'm here. This is Pinion. We are approaching El Coche. Try to be ready. Oh. Of course. Oh, how I loathe Pinion. Her Majesty's travel castle will arrive momentarily. Now, let's practice the Queen's arrival. You have the music, Sparky? Yep. Is that a yes? <sighs> Not yet. Wait for my signal. With royal ceremonies, timing is everything. When Her Majesty arrives, we rise and bow. <laughs> I announce Her Majesty Queen Limousine of Carlandia. <laughs> then on my signal, you start the music. Sparky! Sparky! Huh? Music! Oh! A little louder. Carlandia! Good. Turn it off. Now, we cannot make any mistakes tomorrow. Also, be sure to memorize the Carlandia National Anthem lyrics. Struts, I'm not sure Sparky's cut out to be a royal courtier. Seriously? Can't you find someone else? I need to train for the race. No, no. You're doing marvelously. He's just a little tired. This fuel additive will get your engine revving. That's not a good idea. It'll give you extra pep. Wow, what's in this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> wow, I feel so pumped. This is so exciting. Pinion, Struts, you're in charge of the Royal Castle. Don't muck it up. I won't. I'll be back with Her Majesty tomorrow. Oh, how I detest that one-eyed scoundrel. <gasps> Whoa, what's that? Voila, the world's most sophisticated security system. I designed it myself. Impressive. Carlandia technology is the world's most advanced. Nothing can defeat it. We'll see about that. It looks secure to me, so I'm off to practice for the race. Oh, no, no, no. You must stand guard. In front of an empty garage? Duty first, Sparky. Besides, nothing can go wrong. Pinion would never let me forget it. <sighs> Hi, Zipper. Hi, honey. What's wrong? Nothing. Smile and ask, why? Why are you doing that? Honey, why are you sitting here when you are in pain? Let's go to the mechanic and get a tune-up. Nah, I'll be fine. Oh, what is it with men? You never go to the garage until your radiator overheats and you get stuck by the side of the road. Basically. If you're still upset, count backwards from five. Everything okay? I'm fine. Three, two, one. 
Mm. 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 No. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, uh, stretching. Sparky, it's late. You should get some sleep. I am so not tired. I warned you about that fuel additive. You're gonna be jumpy all night. There's that, and I'm anxious. About my drag race? Yeah, I haven't had time to practice at all, thanks to Struts. Hmm. Well, you're not tired. Go practice now. I have to guard the castle. Why? Queen Limo's not here. Don't put your life's dream on hold for an empty garage. Good evening. Everything is in order, I see. Hmm. Struts, I have a question for you. How far should a car pursue his or her dream? Excuse me? If a car knows what he or she wants, should that car go for it? Absolutely. All cars must pursue their dreams. They must break the cruel shackles that bind them and break free, no matter what the consequences. Huh? <clears throat> I uh, should go. You should go, too. Huh? No emergency. Then why were you honking? We need tickets. To the royal welcoming ceremony. We have to be as close as possible. We love Queen Limousine. <laughs> love her. You don't need tickets. There are practically no cars in El Coche. Excuse me. I can't help it. Uh, I'm sure you can't. Queen Limousine shines almost as brightly as I do. Oh, I love royalty. Everything about it. I can't get enough. I always dreamed about being a princess. A princess? <laughs> a dowager duchess, more likely. The queen is like my sister. My sister in bling. <laughs> that makes me her sister, too. Sister. <laughs> oh, I really must go. We need more Carlandia flags. And bumper stickers. Buttons. <laughs> <clears throat> A castle in El Coche? <laughs> Who does thunk it? Oh, I gotta practice bowing. <laughs> Stop groveling, Walter. If the founders of our republic saw this, they'd rust in shame. Sparky! The Queen's almost here. Where is Sparky? We're approaching El Coche. You ready, Struts? Of course, Pinion. <laughs> oh, dear. Sparky! <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sparky, where have you been? Uh, uh, I've been... She's here! Uh, Sparky, stand by. And <clears throat> Her Majesty Queen Limousine of Carlandia. What's going on? Awkward. Sparky, wake up. Hmm? Oh, struts can't do anything right. <laughs> a thousand pardons, Your Majesty. Uh, Sparky's a little tired. This will perk him up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
the queen is here, start the music. <laughs> sure. <gasps> oh no. How inappropriate. <sighs> what? What is this noise? Sparky, stop! Huh? Turn that off! Oh. <gasps> Hubcap down! Mm. Called it! Stop! Out of my way! It's legal to pick up and keep abandoned auto parts. <laughs> Look it up in the law book, sonny boy. This Hubcap is not abandoned. It belongs to Her Majesty. Get him away! <sighs> Fine. <sighs> okay, Sparky, start the national anthem. Great pearl on top. It's practically worthless. Relative to the jewels, anyway. Oh, those gems are just my color. Wouldn't they look fabulous on my fenders? Hmm? Well, I'm disappointed. It's too much. Rather gaudy, really. As Coco Chanel once said before leaving the house, always take one thing off. In Queen Limbo's case, she could take at least five things off. Sister, what do you ever take off? Our Queen Sweet, our Lord's complete. We feel so very well. Yo, Queenie Poo! Nice rot! Uh. I'm late. Did I miss much? No, just a lot of scraping and fawning. Today is the saddest day in El Coche's history. And it's most embarrassing. The Queen's royal schedule in El Coche is as follows. Tomorrow... Huh? Spokes and her sisters gather for the intervention. So he drove where the road beckoned. What are you... Smile and ask, why? Why are you doing that? Honey, why are you changing the channel every few seconds? I don't know. Let's go back to the show about the Queen's visit. Okay. Hmm, I can't remember what channel it was. Oh well. If you're still upset, count backwards from five. Five, four, three, two, one. <gasps> Everything okay? Sure. Oh, what a dreadful day. That awful rock and roll. It's industrial music. That old rust bucket who tried to steal my hubcap. Your hubcap fell off. Oh. Why are we here in this ghastly place? <laughs> Your Majesty, uh, we're here for the charity race. I knew it was a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Perhaps I should stay. Or perhaps we should make a U-turn and return to Carlandia. No, no. Duty first. You must return to the palace. Prince Turbo needs a tune-up. We shall see you in a few days. As you wish, Your Majesty. Struts. Opinion. Oh, oh, my muffler. Ah, oh, we shall sleep. <sighs> that didn't go well. Where are you going? To review the preparations for tomorrow's drag race. Everything must go smoothly. But you're supposed to stand guard with me. After today's disastrous arrival ceremony, we can't afford any more mistakes. Struts! <sighs> mm. 
Sparky, why aren't you practicing for the race? I can't. I'm guarding the queen. Where's Struts? He split. Interesting. Well, you should split, too. Who's going to guard the queen? She doesn't need guarding. Look at this security. Besides, I'll be here. Hmm. Sparky, if you give up on your dream, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Oh. Just go. I'll watch the queen. OK. Thanks, Diesel. Oh, welcome back. A good practice? Yeah, but I'm exhausted. Oh. Wonderful. <sighs> You'll sleep soundly. <laughs> well, I'm off. Tomorrow's the big race. Good luck. Thanks. Sir Struts, you're up early. Uh, yes. Today's the big race. Nothing can go wrong. <gasps> the Queen! <laughs> Your Majesty, what happened? Someone stole the crown jewels! Sparky, who stole the crown? I don't know. What? You were standing guard. Yeah, but... But what? Oh, I never should have come. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> yes? Cross control. <laughs> Opinion. Good morning. Is, um, is, is what? Were well, the Queen's jewels stolen? Well, the crown jewels are, um, missing, but... Why am I not surprised? Opinion. I am an expert in forensic investigation. Allow me to... You're an idiot. I'll be there as soon as I finish Prince Turbo's tuna. <clears throat> right. Uh, goodbye, then. Carlandia is dispatching help, which will be here in a few days. In the meantime, Officer Clutch, I'd like to be appointed lead detective. Uh, working with you, of course. Sure, Struts. I'm really sorry about this. No, no. You have been most vigilant. Unlike Sparky. What? If you hadn't disappeared last night... If you hadn't botched the welcoming ceremony... If you'd let me... Enough! Pinion is coming, and he's bringing high-tech gadgets, including the lie detector. But I resolved to solve this case before he arrives using my sharp observational skills and keen intuition. I'll show Pinion. He'll regret the day he fired me as Carlandia's lead investigator. By the way, at this point, everyone is a suspect. Whoever did it, he was sneaky. He or she? I have an announcement. Because of the heist of the Queen's bling, my charity drag race is postponed. Indefinitely. Do we get our money back? Oh, heavens no. I knew it. Diesel, you are charged with the theft of the crown jewels. Prove it. I shall. In car court. Book her, Clutch. Order! Struts, your witness. 
Thank you, Your Honor. Diesel, you've been in court before, haven't you? <laughs> Many times. Order! <sighs> this financial accounting of your drag race proves that it was a scam to make money. You collected 14,000 bucks, but planned to donate to charity only 500. 500? More like 275. But it was all legal. There were a lot of expenses. Why did you insist that Queen Limousine stay at your four star depot? So you could steal her jewels? Oh, no. I just wanted the publicity. You've been arrested three times. At least. You coveted the jewels. You craved them. Duh. But I couldn't figure out how to snatch them without tripping that annoying security system. Didn't you? Everyone saw you practicing the crime with your winch. It wasn't long enough to reach between the laser beams. Believe me, I tried. Besides, if I'd stolen the bling, you think I'd still be here? No. She'd be long gone. I rest my case. Any more questions? Uh, no. But you remain the prime suspect. What else is new? Case dismissed. <laughs> Queen Limousine, she's naked. <laughs> of course. How could I have been so foolish? Otto did it. Huh? Why do you think that? A gut feeling. I'm always right. Tomorrow we go to Auto Swag. Shouldn't we go now? There's no rush. We have to prepare, or prepare to fail. But the evidence... Sparky, you have excellent instincts. You'll make a fine detective someday. But let me take the lead on this case. Don't worry, we'll get a conviction. A conviction? Pinion will rue the day he so cruelly fired me. All of Carlandia is demanding to know what happened. How come no one saw the thief? Zipper! How was the thief able to evade the laser system? Zipper! And most important, where are the jewels now? Why? Smile and ask, why? Why are you doing that? Zipper! Huh? Honey, why didn't you turn off the lights and TV before you went to sleep? Didn't I? That, that's not good. I should really... If you're still upset, count backwards from five. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> hi, Dad. No, oh, hi, son. This darn security camera still won't budge. <sighs> you don't look happy. I'm not. His struts driving you nuts? Yeah, but it's not that. It's... I feel bad. I was the one standing guard when the jewels were stolen. Ah, don't feel too guilty. The thief was probably a real pro. Otherwise, you would have heard something. Well... Well what? I might have heard something if, um... If? If I hadn't fallen asleep. Oh, Sparky! I was really tired. <sighs> I gotta help solve the case or I'll never forgive myself. I've gotta make things right. Ah! Oh! Ouch! Ah! No pain, no gain, we have go. There you go. So, does my new hood gear have more street cred than bumpers? <laughs> Toots. Thanks, Otto. Struts? Shh. Something's not right. <laughs> hey, dudes! Aha! Uh -huh. What do we have here? Beats me. These look like pearls from the Queen's crown. Otto, you are charged with the theft of the crown jewels. Whoa, that's heavy. Wait, these aren't pearls. What? Pearls are hard and shiny. These are soft and squishy. What are you doing? 
We need this case closed. You need this case closed. But... You're the one who was standing guard, and your past is not exactly clean. Huh? Three speeding tickets, four citations for running red lights, and you still haven't passed your emissions inspection. Yeah, but... Pinion and his minions will be here soon. If we don't solve the crime before they arrive, you might become the prime suspect. Or worse, me. <clears throat> Still, we can't convict an innocent car. Well, no, of course not. Wait! These aren't pearls. In fact, they look like packing pellets. Packing pellets? Packing pellets! Like the ones in Walter's box of old junk! Good job, Sparky! Slow down! There's no proof that these are Walter's. Sparky, I'm the expert. Watch and learn. Now it seems Walter has some explaining to do. Sparky, you look a little troubled. May I help you with anything? Huh? Oh, um, no. Hmm. Well, I know what it's like to be upset. I notice. <laughs> Don't get cheeky. You are conversing with a queen. Oops. Sorry. Don't be. Whatever's bothering you, let it go until the morning. Sleep brings courage. Hmm. Oh, well, good night, Sparky. Evening, son. Hi, Dad. Boy, I wish I could fall asleep as quickly as Queen Limo. Hmm. So, what are you doing? Trying to figure out how the thief did it. Well, first he confirmed that the guard was asleep. Ha, ha, ha. Let Struts worry about why his screwy security system failed. It's not your problem. Actually, it might be. What opinion blames me? You? Struts is the one who let Queen Limo sleep in an exposed parking lot owned by Diesel, a three-time convicted felon. Hmm. Dad, remember that time I got towed for having an expired registration, even though it wasn't? Yeah? Or that time I got a ticket for parking near a fire hydrant that was hidden in the bushes. Uh-huh. Why? Both times, Officer Clutch thought about arresting me, but then he looked at the evidence, realized I was innocent, and dropped the cases. Stress isn't doing that. He's fixated on getting a conviction no matter what. First, he dragged Diesel to car court with no proof. Then he went after Otto. Otto? Oh... I bet the thief wasn't even from El Coche. I bet it was a random act of highway robbery. Hmm. Or maybe the queen stashed the jewels somewhere to collect the insurance money. Dad, shh, she's right here. Sparky, something's not right. Drive away before it's too late. It's already too late. Tomorrow we're back in car court, and I'm not even sure why. Hey, watch where you're going. You sure about this? Absolutely. Proceed. I call Walter. <sighs> How long is this gonna take? I've got a valve change appointment in half an hour. Walter, where are you from? New Gasket. New Gasket? A city riddled with unlawful activity. Is that where you began your life of crime? A life of crime? Who is this guy? Walter, do you sleep well? Not usually, no. So you have plenty of time to poach precious gems in the middle of the night. What? At the royal welcoming ceremony, you tried to steal Her Majesty's hubcap, didn't you? It fell off. Rescuing abandoned parts is legal, sonny boy. You possess packing pellets. So? These packing pellets were found at Autoswag. Those aren't mine. <laughs> oh, but I think they are yours from your rusty old safe deposit box. I think you stole the crown jewels, then planted some of your packing pellets at Auto Swag, so we investigators would think Otto committed the crime. I think you don't know me. I have only 15 packing pellets, and I'd never let them out of this box. These antique bolts are delicate. Hey, give me that back! How do we know you only had 15? Walter had only 15 pellets, Your Honor. I can vouch for that. So can I. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, they're all here. Hey! You got yellow paint on my palette. Stupid golf ball. It's not a golf ball. It's a royal orb bestowed on me by her... If there are no objections, I'm releasing Walter. Fine. Struts should be removed from the case. Hmm. He doesn't care about justice. Struts just wants a conviction so he can get back to his cushy life in Colandia. So what do you think, Sparky? Should we take Struts off the royal heist case? No. Struts and I are making progress. Eliminating suspects, gathering clues. No. Oh. I'm learning a lot. Struts thinks I'll make a good detective someday. Well, you would. But Struts isn't fit to be in law enforcement. He tried to convict Diesel, Otto, and Walter with precious little evidence. <sighs> Maybe you're right, Fender. I'll think about it. I drove by about 20 minutes ago. I, I bet he's lost. Honey, what are these old wiper blades and rags doing on the pavement? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'll clean them up. When? I don't know. Smile and ask why. Why are you doing that? Honey, why don't you clean up this old junk now? Uh, but I'm watching traffic. If you're still upset, count backwards from five. Five, four, three, two, one. Want to watch traffic with me? Not tonight. Eh, suit yourself. Good morning, Sparky. Fender. What do you want? We're here to uh, look around, chat. Fender, on the night in question, you were here, right across the street from the scene of the crime, weren't you? Yeah, so? So? You didn't see anything? Nope. Yet you're sure the thief was not from El Coche? Well, I'm not sure. It's a theory. That the theft was a random act of highway robbery. Such a convenient theory. Huh? What's in here? Tools. Let's take a look. Shall we? Why? It's a bunch of old, rusty... Aha! Uh -huh. Huh? <gasps> What's that? The Great Pearl from Queen Limousine's Crown. Dad! How'd that get there? Fender, you are charged with the theft of the Crown Jewels. This is a setup! Book him, Clutch. I didn't do it! Hi, Dad. I didn't do it. Okay. You don't believe me. Of course I do. But how did the Great Pearl get into your toolbox? Someone planted it. Only a car from El Coche would know about your toolbox. So much for your theory about an outsider being the thief. Hmm. Good point. You would make a good detective. Thanks. Sparky, I'm innocent. On the night of the crime, I went to sleep at 10.30 and didn't move until dawn. There's no way I... <gasps> you didn't move? Uh, no. Like you, I sleep pretty soundly. Not as well as that queen, I gotta but... go. Sparky! Where are you off to? I don't want to be alone here. <sighs> Order! Oh. Where's Sparky? Ready, Struts? I, uh, was waiting for my assistant, but, uh, sure. We can begin. Your witness. Fender, you regularly ridicule royalty, don't you? It's a free country. I'll take that as a yes. You don't believe monarchs deserve their privileges, do you? No. All cars are created equal. So that's why you felt at liberty to steal Her Majesty's jewels. 
I didn't steal anything. You believe Her Majesty's palaces should be converted to parking garages, that her art should be distributed to the masses. I do. <sighs> you hid the Great Pearl in your toolbox. No! Where are the rest of the jewels? I have no idea. I object! Sparky? My father is innocent, and I can prove it. No, you can't. Proceed. Dad, on the night of the crime, where were you? At my gas station, asleep. The whole night? Yes. <laughs> Your Honor, he has no proof. Yes, I do. This is security camera footage of my father that night. It shows that he was parked and snoring the whole time. Let me see that. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. Hmm. Not guilty. Fender, you are free to go. <sighs> Hello? Struts, did you recover the crown jewels yet? Ah, uh, no opinion, but... Spare me your excuses. We'll be there soon. Roger that. Pinion's almost here. We've got to wrap this case up pronto. Why? So I can return to Carlandia as Chief Inspector. We can't cut corners. Sparky, stop stirring up trouble. From now on, keep quiet, lay low, and follow my lead. No. No? Car's lives are on the line. If I disagree with you, I'm going to say something. Do something. That's it. You're fired. You can't fire me. I quit. Hmm. What an unexpected turn of events. <laughs> one, three, two, one. Oh, this is ridiculous. Zipper, wake up. Huh? I can't take it anymore. Take what? Stop wasting electricity. Stop leaving junk around. Stop ignoring the mechanic's advice. Why, why are you suddenly so angry? I'm not suddenly angry. It's been driving me nuts for weeks. Why didn't you say something? Because, because Norbert suggested I keep quiet. <laughs> why? Communication is key in any relationship. If it means that much to you, let's turn off the lights, clean up this mess, and head to the mechanic. Oh, oh Zipper. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome home, honey. Good morning. Did Her Majesty really summon me for an audience? No. I did. Oh? Excuse me. <sighs> you once said that you always dreamt of being a princess, didn't you? I did. And you love bling. I do. Almost as much as you hate competition. Well... Queen Limousine is competition, isn't she? What? That's why you stole the crown jewels, isn't it? So that Queen Limousine wouldn't outshine you. No. Struts. Do you have any proof that Lugnut... Officer Clutch, please. Struts, I'm worried that you've changed. What's all the commotion? This doesn't concern you. Lugnut, you are charged with the theft of the crown jewels. I would never, ever... Tell it to the judge. Stop! Lugnut could not have done it. I told you to stop interfering. Pipe down! Struts, let Sparky speak. Follow me. The thief must have parked around here for at least a few minutes to steal all the jewels, right? Well, yes. Lugnut constantly drip, drip, drips oil, right? If she were the thief, the pavement would be discolored. No stain on the cement means she's innocent. <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> kind of. Uh, Lugnut doesn't drip that much oil. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh. Lugnut, you are free to go. Thank you. Goodbye, Lugnut. By the way, I love your new look. Oh, your majesty. <laughs> Work that hood, girlfriend. Oh. oh majesty, please. <laughs> These common cars are... Oh, hush, Struts. Lugnut is fierce. Queen Limo, want to take a little drive? What a splendid idea. Majesty! 
That's it, Sparky. I've had enough of your meddling. From now on, no more Mr. Nice Guy. When was Struts ever Mr. Nice Guy? Sparky, there are too many balloons. Ah. Still too many balloons? <sighs> Norbert, we've got enough high octane, right? There's nothing worse than running out of gas at a tailgate party. Don't worry, boss. <gasps> Your Majesty. Good afternoon. You all seem so happy scooting about. Uh, for what are you making preparations, may I ask? We're throwing a tailgate party later today. How marvelous. We don't have those in Carlandia. Are they fun? We enjoy them, but then again, we're just simple country cars. Simple, decent cars. The best kind. Hmm. But I bet you can't wait to get back to your big, fancy palace. Actually, I'm thoroughly enjoying El Coche. Really? You said our town was ghastly. Oh, that was very wrong of me. My apologies. You have to understand, when I first arrived, I was in great pain from my recent muffler replacement surgery. The Royal Mechanic recommended I not travel, you know. But I think he was wrong. This excursion has been wonderful. Even with the crown jewels being stolen? Oh, I want them back. But coming here and meeting Salt of the Earth Automobiles has been refreshing, invigorating. Well, enjoy your tailgate party whenever it is. Dad, invite her. <laughs> your, um, <clears throat> your majesty? Yes? Would you like to join us at the tailgate party? That sounds delightful. Thank you. See you later. You look pretty pleased, Norbert. I am. Ah! Ah! Dad, should I inflate more balloons? <sighs> Your Majesty, want to try a desert wax? <laughs> that sounds enchanting. <laughs> Majesty, please. This carousing with undistinguished vehicles is highly inappropriate. Shh! Don't you have something better to do than shadow me? Like finding my jewels? Well... Pinion, did you find them, Struts? Mm. Where are the crown jewels? Ah, uh, uh, right. Uh, uh, well, uh, the, the investigation is proceeding auspiciously. We've eliminated several suspects, including uh, Walter, uh, Lugnut, uh, Fender, uh, and Diesel. No, she's still a suspect. Oh. Have you figured out how the thief defeated your silly laser security system? Um, well... I knew your laser scheme wouldn't work. And I knew you were a lousy inspector. You are off! No, wait, I've, um... I, I've known all along who the thief is, and uh, now that you're here with a lie detector, I can prove it. <laughs> may I? Enjoying the fine weather, Mayor Rivet? Yes. That is the truth. You happy to be here, banker man? Yes! That is a lie! I didn't steal the crown jewels, I promised. I know that. <laughs> Sparky! Huh? On the night the crown jewels were stolen, what was your job? To stand guard? That is the truth. And did you do your job? Well, yeah. That is a lie! You were not standing guard because you were too busy stealing the crown jewels! No! How many speeding tickets have you received? Well... Four! How many citations for running a red light? Um... Three! And you still haven't passed your emissions inspection, have you? Uh. No. You're a juvenile delinquent. You wanted to help me with the royal visit so you could steal the Queen's jewels, didn't you? No, I... Save it for the judge. Book him, Clutch. Dad! Son. Dad, I didn't steal anything. I'm a bad guard, but I'm not a thief. I know. I'm scared. It'll be all right. Will it? You warned me not to get involved with struts. Oh, why didn't I listen? 
It'll be okay. I guess you don't have to worry about me racing. I'll be too busy making license plates in prison. You are not going to prison. You don't know that. Yes, I do. And Strutz's witch hunt will end. I promise. Strutz, your witness. Thank you. So, Sparky, on the night of the theft, your job was to stay awake and guard Queen Limousine. Did you? No. <laughs> Where did you hide the jewels? I didn't touch them. Oh, come now. We know you stole them. Where are they? How should I know? Stop. Uh, now what? Sparky didn't steal the crown jewels, but I know who did. You do? Who? Struts, you were right the first time. I stole them. <gasps> you did? You did. But what about the security camera footage of you sleeping? Well, maybe that was a different night. Dad, you didn't steal anything. Sparky? Okay, so where are the jewels? They are, um, well, I left them by the side of the road. Where? I can't recall. Fender, think very carefully. Your freedom, your future is on the line. Do you plead guilty to this crime? Yes. Well then, Struts, any objection to releasing Sparky? Hmm? Oh, no, no. By all means, let Sparky go. Fender, I have no choice but to sentence you to five years for grand larceny. Case closed. <laughs> Not bad work, eh, Pinion? Struts, something's fishy. There's no proof Fender did it. Worse, the jewels are still missing. I'm dubious. Dubious or jealous? It doesn't matter because Struts is back. Or should I say, Chief Inspector Struts? No. The Rush Carbo Show! Folks, I'm outside the courthouse in El Coche. El Coche, who the funk it? <gasps> there he is! Fender, where are the jewels? No comment. Will you miss the open highway behind bars? <sighs> And here's the vehicle of the hour, Struts! Hmm? You fingered Fender as the perpetrator. How'd you know? <laughs> well, Rush, in all candor, cracking the case was as simple as one, two, three. <gasps> this case has taken more hairpin turns than an alpine speedway. Indeed, but as a seasoned mm -hmm. detective, I'm surprised by nothing. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, we request a special hearing. Okay, everyone? Court's back in session. Some suggested this case was unsolvable. Nonsense, I thought. With my experience, it was merely We gotta a... get back inside. Huh? Car court is back in session. Pinion? Thank you, Your Honor. Sparky? Sparky? Thank you, Pinion. Struts? Me? I have questions. For whom? For you. Huh? Why did you hire me, knowing I was ticketed for speeding, running a few red lights, and failing my pollution test? I, uh, uh, well, well uh, everyone deserves a second chance. Perhaps. Or maybe you hired me so you could set me up when the jewels were stolen. <laughs> How could I have known? I need to make an arrest, you said. I need a conviction, you said. But you never said we need to catch the thief. Why? I don't follow. Queen Limousine didn't want to visit El Coche. Why did you insist on coming here? <laughs> For the charity drag race, of course. Charity? Or did you decide to come here because El Coche is a sleepy backwater? A trusting place where you could commit your heinous crime. My heinous crime? You insisted Otto might be guilty of the theft just after Diesel's trial. Yet you refused to visit Otto Swag until the next day. Why? So you could plant false evidence, the packing pellets. No. And when that didn't work, you tried to frame Walter. And when that didn't work, you tried to frame my father by planting the great pearl in his toolbox. <laughs> Fascinating theories, but you have no proof. Really? Struts, why did you desperately want the Queen to stay at the Piston Cafe? Hmm, I can't recall. But you do recall that the Piston Cafe has an old bank vault. Perhaps. A vault you know the combination to. A vault Bankerman swore he'd never use again. 
A vault where you could hide the crown jewels until things calm down. Your Honor, I move, we move to the Piston Cafe. <gasps> I object. Overrule. Open the vault door, Struts. <laughs> How should I know the combination? Because you were here when Banker Man opened the vault for Walter. Well, perhaps, but how could I be expected to remember the combination? Oh, come on. It's easy. Right one, and left two, right three. How could you forget? Here, I'll open it. I knew it! My jewels! Oh, thank you, Sparky. <laughs> yes, thank you, Sparky. We found the crown jewels. Unfortunately, there's no evidence of who stole them, but such is life. Case closed. Back to Carlandia. We should celebrate. Ah, but there is evidence of who stole them. This yellow paint. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, yes. Hey! That's paint from Struts' golf ball! It's not a golf ball. It's a royal orb bestowed by Her Majesty in commemoration of... Oh, forget it. Struts, you are under arrest for the theft of the crown jewels. Why'd you do it, Struts? Why? Because I was sick of groveling to bigwigs. I craved freedom. You can forget about freedom. Struts, I'm sentencing you to six years in prison. Six years? Fender only got five years for the same crime. I like Fender. Life is so unfair. Sparky and Zipper are neck and neck, but Lugnut is coming on fast as they approach the finish line. It's Sparky, it's Zipper, it's Sparky, the winner! Yay! <laughs> Sparky, wow! My, he really is fast. Congratulations, Sparky. Thanks. You recovered my jewels. You won the race. Oh, Sparky, won't you please consider working at my royal palace in Carlandia? No, thanks, Your Majesty. El Coche is my home. I can't imagine living anywhere else. Hi, honey. Nice driving, honey. Sorry I came in second. Oh, Zipper, you'll always be number one in my book.